from the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Yeah, I wouldn't call it bad blood, but it's safe to say Christmas cards weren't sent back and forth between Illinois and Missouri this year. The bragg and right storylines are a plenty, with three former Illini now playing for the Tigers. Mark Smith, Jeremiah Tillman, and Javon Pickett all signed to play in Champaign. Smith even did for a season before transferring to Columbia. They meet in round two of the showdown. And after winning by 16 last year, Mizzou has the Bragg and Rights coming in on a great day in St. Louis and Arch City. Kofi Coburn gets his first Bragg and Rights bucket to put the Illini up early, 13 points in his St. Louis debut, but the Tigers right behind them. Kobe Brown, a three just as the shot clock expires to get the Tigers going. Next possession, Georgie Bashanishvili comes right back at it with a three of his own as the orange and blue go up by six to get the crowd into it. Things looking good for the Illini here as Ayo Dusumu, aggressive all day, makes a nice move into the paint. He leads all scores with 21 points. The Tigers claw back, though, at the end of a sloppy first half. Mitchell Smith to pull them within one. They take a three-point lead at the break, and then it starts to unravel and get ugly for the Illini in the second. Jeremiah Tillman knocks down his first bucket of the game. It sends them on a big run, 17-5, to if you combine the end of the first half and the start of the second. Javon Pickett gets in on the action with a layup, 32-24 at that point. He scores 17 off the bench, and Xavier Pence in the Chicago native with a three to force an Illini timeout as the Tigers jump out to a nine-point advantage. Illinois doesn't get a field goal until eight minutes into the half. Trent Frazier nails the three to cut the lead to six. Incredible, it was just six at that point. But Seanish really goes for more, but Alan Griffin with the behind-the-back layup, six points, eight rebounds for him today. But it was hard to stop the Tigers after this one. Look at this filthy dunk. My goodness, take another look. Tillman with the one-handed throwdown. Wow. That seals the deal for Missouri as Illinois falls back-to-back -back years. Now they take a loss in the Bragg and Rights game as Illinois loses it. 63-56, to the final. Alana now 8-4 and four on the season. There's Desumu with 21 points. Only two guys for the orange and blue in double figures. Here's Craig and Marley with more from St. Louis. For the second straight year, the bragging rights belong to the Tigers of Missouri, but not without some extracurriculars late in the game between current and former Illini. Three total technical fouls called in the game, two on Illinois and one on Missouri. It's always a game with a lot of emotion on both sides of the court. That was definitely the case on Saturday, but it was Missouri playing with a little bit more emotion. Seemed like they wanted to win a little bit more, and they forced Illinois into a cold shooting night. Illinois couldn't hit a shot in the second half, going 8 of 25 from the field with their First field goal of the second half coming more than seven minutes in. And yeah, the ball just gets a stick in. I mean, when the ball gets a stick in, it's easy for the defense to, you know, lock in on defensively and lock in on the offense. So we just pretty much got to just move the ball and not let the ball stick. Offense is a rhythm. When the ball moves and player movement uh, happen, you see really, really positive things. And, and again, we've got we've to get the ball out of our hands quicker and we've got to move it and cut. When the Illini offense is playing well, it's normally because the defense is also playing well, and on this night, the defense also struggled. Yeah, Brad Underwood has praised this defense for their tenacity, but there was nothing to brag about against the Tigers. The Illini were out-rebounded 36-32. to Kofi Coburn had just two rebounds the entire game. Disappointing numbers there for the Illini big man. They also struggled to stop several Mizzou runs. The Tigers shot 50% from the field in the second half. We shouldn't have to wait to coach young to like get hyped or yell at us when we play defense. We should have that mutual respect where we should come out and do it each and every night. There's nights people are going to do a really good job on Kofi. Uh, you know, I never thought I'd see a night Kofi had two rebounds, but that opens it up for everybody else if they're paying that much attention to him, and, and that's just effort. Turnovers also a big issue for the Illini. They had 17 total, but six of those came from Georgie Bashanishvili alone, so not a great game for the front court players. It's another season where the Illini don't pick up a big non-conference win against a Power 5 team. They missed all their chances. Their next game, December 29th against North Carolina A&T at the State Farm Center. Reporting in St. Louis for your Illini Nation, for Marley Weirda, I'm Craig Schott. Back to you. All right, guys, thank you so much. Great work today. Here are a few more news and notes. If you would have told me Jeremiah Tillman and Mark Smith combined for four points and you hold Smith to none, I would have told you Illinois would win the game easily, but that's not the case. Illinois loses the rebounding margin by four, as they mentioned, just the third game this season. They haven't won the boards. And then shooting the three continues to be an issue for the Orange and Blue. Two for 14 today. That's just 14%. Congratulations.